The Postman, City, Hood, Click. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Like the door on him. Like the door on him. Hood Postman. Hood Postman. Reporting live. Reporting live. It's the hood postman, come and check the program You ain't from the streets, this is something you should know man Running from police, got a crypto wheel with both hands Speeding down the interstate, please do not approach him Forties in the fridge, got the caddy in the driveway Get all out of my face, I don't wanna violate Looked up in the mirror and I told myself why I wait we Took this shit worldwide, you only in five states Came from the four corners with my four quarters Showed them the style, then they stole on us Times got wild, then they told on us Dog, it was hard, but we had to keep it rolling you ain't gotta ask, you know where to find me I be in the back streets where it get grimy It's just me and Mel, Rennie really looking broad D I be going hard till I'm in the five C's uh. Know the vibes I'ma do it till I die I ain't never switched sides I ain't never had to tell a lie Let's ride Know the vibes I'ma do it till I die I ain't never switched sides I ain't never told a lie Shout out to the Mailroom Nation and the Mailroom Goons. I am Professor Melly Mail, the Hood Postman. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share. Drop a comment down below so when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and the 15th. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mailroom. When you come in and take a look at your mind, examine what's in your heart. You can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lies, but you come right here to get the truth. And the truth you shall receive. Get on the bus and let us take you to school. Guys, this is not a glamorization nor is a glorification. It's always an education. Sorry about that, guys. We're back again. Once again, we're gonna bring the BAM in as soon as he get in. And we're gonna we're gonna top, we're gonna take this to another level because. What's this? I'm looking for the BAM. BAM, where you at, brother? <laughs> Shout out to Marlena Williams. Shout out to everybody that's joining us. Take the shower. There's some juice on the table. Mm-hmm. Take your time. You want to explain to me what you're doing here? I came looking for booty. You came looking for sex with an underage boy? Oh, no. That was a Floridian and slip right there. <laughs> Once again, shout out to Marlena Williams. Shout out to Jay Ship for joining us. I appreciate each and every last one of you guys that join us in this chat room. Let me shout out some of these, some of these guys. Somebody just tried to jump in the chat. I don't know who it was. I have no idea. Let's see. Marlena Williams. Comedy girl. What's up, comedy girl? Dominique, what's happening? OG Bam Keith, what's good? What's good? Jay Ship, what's good? What you what's good? What's good, people? Hey, shout out to you guys. Once again, we come in here to to just talk good stuff. Uh, talk about the brother that just passed away recently, passed away from pneumonia. Uh, unfortunate, unforeseen situation. Now let me see what's going on with Bam. Hold on. I don't see you, bro. I don't, oh, oh, you got, bam, you got some other stuff going on, man. You got to tell me when you make these changes. No, I came in some, through my nephew chapter. Oh, What's going yeah, on? It's, it's a lullaby sexy. <laughs> yeah, that's my niece. That's my niece. That's my niece, bro. Okay, yeah. niece, well, Millie Millie. Millie. make me aware of these changes, brother. <laughs> What's going on with the band? 
Good to, good to see you, man. Yeah. man. Let's get to the content, man. You know, yesterday I said how, how this brother embraced his challenges and, and he came, you know, he came with full strength, you know, and he, he was part of that key way movement. And I wanted to ask you, man, because we talked with Bright Dog and he had a perspective about when you guys hit the pin. And you was also in Tracy, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, yeah. What year was that for you, yeah. man? Uh, I got kicked out the shoe. Finally, let me out the shoe. I do like two and a half years. Uh huh. Scarvey five six oh two. My points dropped. I was on the borderline of being a level four, level three. Scarvey big and super on there. One of me down there, Tracy. So I put up. Scarvey put down there six oh two. They they sent me to Tracy. But I met a pretty boy. You know. I was in the shoe. Yeah. I went down to Tracy. Wait, way, man, what Pre year was that? That was 84. But I went to prison in 80, really, but I got busted in 79. All right. Was that during the time you guys were putting together the Constitution, or was the Constitution already ready? Because I think your first Constitution was Blue Magic, right? Blue Magic. Blue Magic was the first Crip Constitution. Yeah, Viva Blue Magic came C C C O. San Quentin okay. Crips didn't have a constitution. They just was low. It was for the blackness. They wasn't with the, the, the going at each other. It was with the blackness. You understand what I'm saying? And Blue Magic, BJ was running Blue Magic. BJ got to San Quentin. A lot of Blue Magics was there. When BJ got there, he come on each block door and say, oh, Blue Magic, stop exercising. So did our brother Pretty Boy was he was he involved in any of this we talking about? Yeah. Pretty Boy is the dude I put in the category of course personality. I put in the category of Kick Heron. Explain. He's, he's just a humble brother. He's real passive, and people can miss through his passiveness for weakness, but he was a killer. He was already known. See any nigga, ooh, excuse me, any brother with a name Pretty Boy, look at Two Pretty Kitty. You got them gonna meet him just to see if he fly, right? And Pretty Boy, when Pretty Boy came to Tracy, home, he brought me a kite from a scarf. Trying to embrace him. I embraced him. He was in the cell with Big Zoom and Tracy. He was on a video. What a do, and uh, this dude out of Sacramento, pretty boy, was you know, he was talking about me, but saying it was someone else, right? Putting put representatives in the wing because I don't want nobody coming to me. I'm putting representatives in the wing. Pretty boy hooked me up with a bra. He played turtle too, man. Pretty boy hooked me up with a girl named Kathy. She ended up being marrying a, a dude from Hoover. He got at me. Like, hey, man, you need to holler at her. I was turned up then. You need to oh, not. I ain't get out of here. Pretty boy, pretty no, boy put you on the plug, huh? <laughs> Hey, watch this, man. Pretty boy used to mess with her. He he hooked me up with her, give me all the pictures, the skin flicks, everything. I'm like, cool. I go in the cell. I'm in the cell with Roland. For about two months, then Turtle came. I moved in the cell with him. I'm right. I'm like, you know, I got skin flicks. So Oh, that she with it. Watch this, Melly. I'm trying to take a picture on the tennis court with a feeling short set on. She thought I was on the streets. That was that fly cripping way. So Nipsey said it, man. Nipsey went in the roots of cripping to get that fly cripping song. You understand what I'm saying? But listen to me. Run, man. How long did she run? She ran for about a year. If Big Hat Run was living, or if you run in the Big Pip, I tried to slide in the Big Pip. She said, oh, I'm already up on a nigga breaking me. She knew, listen to me. Big Pepper will tell you that. Hey, but Pretty Boy, that was his pedigree, too. That was his uh, forte, I mean. If he liked you, Pretty Boy had bros, man. That day ain't fitted him. Pretty Boy had bros. And he was sliding them, the niggas, too. Oh, listen here, man. And, and you know, 
and I was kind of turned up. Now I'm in the cell with Turtle. I'm going out there fly. Hey, Melly, I used to go out there with the Sky Blue Monte Carlo on, the Blue Pumas, the 501s with a blue motherfucking sweater tied around me, and a blue golf hat to the top. I was working out that action pack back kit. Pretty Boy was in the cell with Zoom. Pretty Boy was a brother that if he liked you, he was going to embrace you. Pretty Boy was the first like I ever met. And it's a lot of them that knew he was going to go home. It's a lot of us one of the male, and we was under some, so we'll never get to the streets. Pretty boy wasn't like that. He like, man, I got I got an agenda. I'm a crip. I'm from road to 60s, but I ain't first. I ain't pretty boy. I'm the most important person in the room. I'm going home. And he did that. He did that. Was he, he had happy with the but was he handy with the say, law? Huh? Was he handy with the law? Uh, he stayed in the law library. Pretty boy. Uh -huh. Only time he went to the yard, man, was to take pictures. I used to fuck with his hair. They cut that perm off. That nigga had that long ass perm, man. You know what I mean? They cut that shit off. Niggas got Jerry curls. Him and these side mic. The only the two niggas had tricks. Perms and Trace at the time, and they was well. They was well. But the boy, he liked it. He, he, you know, pretty boy was just a dude. Uh, I'm going home, man. That's my plan. Can't nobody. He, he, he believed in himself. And he believed in God that he was gonna go home. Man, a lot of things. I talk to you guys. You know, you guys. The way you guys explain it, you like you guys was really, even though you guys was having in prison. You still was having it your way, and would you actually you like you was enjoying yourselves? Am I corrupt? Am I wrong? Melly Mel. Somebody told me a long time ago, man, heaven, heaven and hell is right here. It's about yeah. what you make your heaven. So wherever I go, I need to try to make myself happy. Prison didn't make right. me happy. See, I woke up every day on the on the defense in prison. Every day, bam, kept a key suit. Every day. I had to, but I knew my agenda. I was a player on the streets. I just don't pop peas, I shoot them. You understand know what I'm saying? So I went in the pen like that. That east side come up out me when I be getting that. Hey, watch this, Melly, man. I don't want nobody to get offended. I hope my niece country girl still in here. She might like it. Every girl that's in my life today, and I don't love the one that's barbed, right? But every girl I didn't had in the past 30 years, man, when they say bust them in mid air, I bust them in mid air, partner. Yeah, <laughs> they can't even see me before a picture got to them. You understand what I'm saying? I worked out that action pack Mac kit. That's something else Pretty Boy liked it about me. Man, you, you know, to write them letters, man, I used to write introduction letters to niggas for $50. You understand what I'm saying? I work out, man. I'm very articulate. Don't get it twisted because I say I'm a keyway. Don't get it twisted. Your penmanship was excellent. Your pen was right. Oh, yeah. Hey, watch this. Who will tell you that? Who will say, man, this motherfucker right like a girl. How many, letters, how many letters did you think you have a pen while you was there, man? Hey, man, I ain't going to lie to you. And if my mom was still living, she might confirm this. Who will confirm it? Everybody else in my family and some homies. I wrote at least 10 letters a day, Melly Mel. Shortest oh, one or two pages. It was a it wasn't about petty. I wasn't writing, asking people for nothing. I was just checking in. I was trying to keep the ear on the streets. Not oh, about the up. drama. You feel me? And uh, I, what I found out, this is what made me wake up in prison on some shit. Big Ann came to Tehachapi. I ain't seen Big Ann like 20 years, man. He comes to Tehachapi, brings pictures out. I'm looking at my cousin. Don't even know it's my cousin on the pictures. Loud. You hear me, man? But I do this. I say, Ann, let me have that picture of that 63 Chevy. That motherfucker tight. Excuse me, man. That, that thing tight, right? He said, well, that's your cousin. I'm going to give you all his pictures. My cousin, watch this, man. My cousins 
my family, I had, I got the type of family like this, Melly Mill. My mama took me, and daddy took good care of me. My sisters and brothers kept me with pictures of my niece and nephew. My family didn't write letters to me. But if I asked for something, <clears throat> it got shot in the mail to me, right? So little Ali, every 15th, I get $100, and his wife worked at the folks up, I get five books of stamps. Like clockwork, that was, you know, I get teary, I didn't even want to talk about him. That's that's my idol, but it's dude. Go ahead. This dude's like pretty boy. If I knew they can program, I knew I can program. We just uh -huh. got to find a way to program. That's when my happiness came, Melly Man. That's when I started saying, hold him up, man. You know what I mean? I'm recognized now, but I ain't recognized in a messed up way. And I'm saying that to say, I'm saying that to say this. I didn't try to downplay or belittle CCO. Everything a person seen of me in prison was bigger story than Superman, Big Ant. I'm James Miller, Russell Capers, Keats, Heron, Marcellus. It was in me. I just knew how to tame it. See, Pretty Boy is a dude. Of example, for a homie that's going in there, want a crib, you known to be a killer, keep that killer instinct, but don't kill. That's what Pretty Boy was. You know, he didn't get up under no paperwork. Uh, I'm going to say this, and I don't want nobody to take it the wrong way. A lot of dudes that weren't CCOs, but they homies that were CCOs, they were CCO sympathizers. Okay. They was gonna support us. The majority of their homies was there, and Pretty Boy was one of them. When I say sympathizer, I'm not saying in a disrespectful way the way the word is. I'm He's saying it the way CDC said. If they, if they needed to fill in, they fill in. Exactly, and all all sixties and Compton for some strange reason had a relationship because of Sumo. And the score, a little score. You feel me? Uh, a score ain't gonna just send a kite to any and any anybody. He sent it to somebody that he can trust. That was law. He sent a kite through Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy. Let me tell you the, the riffs that I had a lot of love for. I loved every crip that was on the yard. Okay. This is my favorite. Pretty Boy, El Crazy. In dog, lefty, turtle. I love brother, brother, all them, all them. But these is my favorite crips. And number six would be Brado. When I seen Brado, man, Brado was bug wild, didn't take the lokes off. He's sagging every other word is cuz. You know what I'm saying? But he respected his G home. I was, hey, hey, listen to me, Melly Mel. When I came down to Tracy, Scarry arrived, little Scarry arrived, man. Everything I I learned in that level four and up in that shoe on how to conduct myself as, as, as a respectable clip, one that earned the title as being called OG and a big homie. I went down there and I did that. I didn't make no mistakes. And Pretty Boy was a dude that used to pop it. Pretty Boy told me this in Tracy. I was roaming in his wing one. I said it on my lap. Hey, man, stop defending motherfuckers. Stop defending people that don't know how to defend they say. Mm. And a lot of my problems came from, came from playing Superman, putting the cape on, trying to save somebody else. I'm pocket checking while I'm doing that. I ain't just doing it for free. Then I got tired of being a mercenary, so I ain't do it no more. And Pretty Boy was a dude like Cute. That run them gave me that game. You ain't got to always be on the front line. They already gonna come at you because you're a hitter. You're a soldier, so you ain't got to be on the front line. You feel me? The DJ cat. But listen, listen to me, Melly Mel. We got to. I want to say this, I don't want nobody to take it the wrong way. Me. Bud from Hoover. T.S. Tim. Pretty boy. 
Haven't you noticed every OG that did 20 or more in the penitentiary is coming home with a different perspective of life? True. I and love we it. We want peace. We want peace. We know what we did, but we know it's not too late to fix it because we're the ones who broke it. That's the mentality we have, but we get other people that come in on the show. I ain't going to say their names. They know who they are. One of them might be up in here right now. He loves being in everybody. He like he think the shows is like hopscotch, so he 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 hops to every show. Anyway, they, they see us cry on here. They they see us showing our emotions. They see us saying, "Hey man, we messed up. This ain't what it was meant to be, right?" So if you love Pretty Boy, you love peace. If you respect the Pretty Boy, you respect peace. Let's learn how to honor the dead instead of putting it on the dead. We, we're no longer putting it on the dead homies. We're going to honor the dead homies by protecting their kids and their grandkids. This is what people need to understand. And Pretty Boy was one of those type of cats. You know, you know uh, when, uh, when Fat Dog, at Fat Dog's uh, uh, home going, you know, Pretty Boy made the decision that he wanted to bring all the Crips together. You know, and right I now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we, we, we begin to have conversations across the board. We got the five trays willing to talk to four trays. We got the 60s willing to talk to eight trays. We got the Ubers willing to talk. We got Compton Crips and, and other Crips that's willing to talk. We got, you know, we got a lot of people. And then, you know, and that's not excluding. We want to be able to talk to the Damus as well and the Parus. I want to see, like, me, myself, personally, I would want to see us all in the Coliseum. The whole hey, hey, that would be that would be an awesome look, right? Let me just cut you off right quick, Melly Mel. Okay. I'm a realist, right? I know you want to, right? In order for it to be in that Coliseum, it first got to come to a small gathering. Yeah. And that small gathering, dudes that be on here thinking they got influence, you really don't have it. Some of them dudes might not want them dudes at the table. See, when you make excuses on why you don't want to participate in something based on your past behavior, you don't want peace. You just shout that you ain't being about it. Because I guarantee you, I can get the Parus to come in. I guarantee you, Bam and Melly Mel can get them to come. I guarantee you that. And see, and, and also we got, and this is not about the scobblers. This is not about the dudes that call a meeting, the shot callers. These are not the dudes that check the paperwork. This is not about, the, we're talking about intellectuals. We're talking about intelligence. We're talking about the best of our culture being able to figure out this quandrum and be able to bring us all together as a collective, regardless to where you from and what you claim, how big or how small, none of that matters. But us as black men sit down and have a conversation. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Uh, Melly Mel, I am so surprised that majority, my brothers that subscribe to me is from out of town and down moves. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Real down moves respect real crips. Real crips respect real down moves. I ain't trying to put no sugar coating on it. I'm just watch this, Melly Mel. I don't run from it. I run to it. I'm always keeping a hundred. There right? go, but you told me to tame a cousin. You told me to tame a cousin. You ain't telling me to tame the, 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 the realness. Or the trust to have peace. That's it. Keep it real, though. <laughs> yeah. In order to have peace, Prince must come together first. Bloods must come together first. And when they come together, when them two collectives come together with their own collective to get peace within that circle, in that collective, they must let them know at, that, at the gathering when they announce peace and cease fire. There's no other option. If you break this, you will be a casualty. Hey, I'm just keeping it 100. Guess what happened? Watch this, man. Guess uh, what happened? Listen to me, man. The collective, Bam. Guess what happened? Huh? Guess what happened if we come together as a collective? We're going to be the mightiest things on earth, man. True. And post, we're going we're gonna to break, break the stronghold of the police department because there's no longer 
all those different programs and all those different monies that's allocated to them for certain uh, yeah. uh, safety measures that well, they take with the city would no longer be needed. So they I'm, can I'm tell you that. And you're absolutely right. I'm going to say this, Melly Mel. Anybody that think like me, walk, I mean, think like me and had the same ideologies of life like me, embrace my concepts of life, you need to understand that the gang interventions that exist today shouldn't be messed with. I'm going to keep it 100. I know why ain't nobody ever called me to there. Because I ain't going to work for the police. I don't want to be around the police. I don't need to take the curriculum to tell you I'm an expert at game baby. I'm already that. I'm already that, Melly Mill. People need to understand. If they call us to the table, they must have a conversation with us and we tell them to get so far back in the forest that they can't be seen. We don't need you. See, can't nobody save our community but us. Brothers, I want you to understand this, Rome. Brothers need to stop doing this. Stop going to some type of ditty parties. And Titty Jason and parties. They was stop going to them type of parties. Stop selling your soul to be somebody that you're not. See, we got a lot of brothers that have the, the intellect, but they faking themselves out and believing they got the intelligence to match the intellect, but they don't. Uh -huh. Listen to me, man. Yeah. I, every day I tap into YouTube even when I'm at work. I hear somebody trying to be as tickly as Melly Mill, but he can't be. He gets so articulate sometimes he put himself in a trick bag. But li let's listen to me. We got to start playing our positions. Stop trying to get in other lanes. Stop trying to glare, glamorize stupidity, shenanigans, and theatrics when it comes to what you say you love and represent. I'm a black man. I'm a black man, Melly Mel, but I uh -huh. still love Crip. I still love Crip. And I must conduct myself in a proper fashion and manner that make the, the OG look down from heaven and say, that's real Crip. See, real Crip in the day is you work, you take care of your kids, you take care of your woman, you take care of your wife. Whatever one you choose to have, that's responsible. So we didn't misspell Crip. That's watch this. The same people that came up with South Central and these idiots believe South Central exists. It's the same people who's believing that we misspelled Crip. And it's a proven fact that Raymond named Crip based on his big brother nickname, Crip. So the people need to understand. Stop letting people give us titles. Stop not believing in yourself as a black person. See, the black race ain't no, ain't gonna never be strong until the black men be strong. She can't nobody else carry us on our back. My woman can't carry me on her back. I must carry her. I'm too much weight. This assets babbage is she got to carry me. And this is what brothers need to do. If we can get peace in our own communities, our own collectives. We can have peace on the streets. We got to start. A lot of these people point fingers at youngsters. Let me share something with you. I ain't met a youngster yet, except that dude from Casa Block. Do the shit these LA cats be doing. And I ain't trying to say LA counting. I'm talking about Brick Baby. I'm talking about Spider. I'm talking about uh, Flacco Fat Booty. I'm talking about him. I ain't seen a Compton, a youngster from Compton do that yet. Young Compton dudes, as well as some young LA cats, east side, west side, deep west. They respect their G's. So you got these dudes on these channels, they respecting their G's. A G got to say something in order, about eight or nine times in order for them to start trying to correct some shit. No, we can't be doing that no more. See, people need to understand that it's obvious the OGs didn't drop the ball. Got to meet Bam in person. <laughs> Man, I hope that's in a good way, brother. But li listen, listen to me, Melly Mill. I'm one of my homies' nephews. But li listen to me. I ain't huh? trying to belittle nobody. 
Hey, I don't never, I ain't gonna never belittle Spider or Brick Baby Neil, but I will correct them on their crippling. I can't correct Snoopy Bad Butt, because I'm not a dumb move. But I can throw, I can not throw no love, throw some real at him and hope he catch it. Man, you got some of these game bangers on YouTube, man. They don't want peace because they ain't got peace at their house. They cussing their baby's mamas out. Even on live social media. They don't have peace at home. How they gonna want peace in the hood? We need to understand this and understand it well. If parents don't raise their kids, Melly Mel, the streets will. And the streets will confuse them. Look at all these set hoppers. Dudes from here one day, from there the next. Some dudes want to be the comedian crip. Some dudes want to be the party crip. That sound ain't like what the cripping was. Sounds like to me, Bam, it's too much drip in the cripping. Say it again. Who too much drip really See that? Watch, watch this, man. This is what I'm talking about. Hoover Street. Rest in peace, pretty boy. He won't rest in peace. This is how we know we watch this, Melly Mill. I don't care what nobody say. And I want you to believe this. I don't care what nobody. It's three people. No four. That made people respect Hoover's and understood that Hoover's was scripts. Kevin Mack, Melly Mill, Gangster. Bam. Hoover started their own little thing. My boy, Bud. The Hoover's is telling you, we always been crips. That's how no peace can come in our collective. It ain't no more egos and pride, Melly Mill. If it was egos and pride these dudes was playing with, they wouldn't be wearing skinny jeans, spandex drawers, and flip flops. Listen to what I'm telling you. They wouldn't be wearing that at all. We got to get these brothers out these skinny jeans. And women, if you're listening, stop putting your baby or your grandson in skinny jeans because that might be the next black president. And we don't want nobody to think nothing different. You understand what I'm saying? We got to start coming together as black men, Smelly Mill, and have conversation, positive conversations. This one thing I admire about you, Melly Mill. What's that, man? Don't let a person go off on you on the phone, cuss you out on the phone. The only thing you'll do is, but well, bam, that ain't my business. Ain't Won't you just business. calm down, man? Won't you just calm down? You know how to do this, bam. Just calm down. Yeah, I it admire it. Bam, you know what? I Only really see I think of myself that matter. Ain't none of my business what another dude yeah. think about. It. None of my business. Hey, watch this. That's one. Hey, Melly, I love the shit out you like you, my real brother. Right on, That's, your I, I, That's one thing I mostly admire about, him. You got patience. And I'm learning it. And when I'm found out through you, I can walk away and hurt a motherfucker, I mean, hurt a person worse than I did if I did if I shot him and put hands on. Just walking away. Now he wondering, man, is she gonna come back? Yes, sir. I, I see, I ain't never seen you get mad. Not, I wanna learn that. I wanna grab that. And that's what the black man sneak to do in the community. If you love your kids, you love your community, not your neighborhood. You don't even own that. You don't even own your community. But you're supposed to make your community your heaven, not your hell. We're killing kids. Kids don't come out to play. You got Charleston White saying that we're, we're, the only reason black kids don't come out to play, it ain't because they got tablets and computers and all that. It's because the community ain't safe. And guess who made it unsafe? We did. In the 70s, Melly Mel, we played flag football in the concrete. What you Man, listen to me? We played football. We did everything. <laughs> you feel me? And this, yeah. this is what people, this is what people need to understand. I don't want nobody to say I'm, I'm, I'm dealing reality, man. I don't, you know, if it's if, if if it's fake, it's meant to be unreal, man. It's transparent to me. I'm real, man. Uh, I don't care what nobody say. Uh. If you gang banging and you got kids and grandkids, you the biggest damn fool on earth. I don't care what sense you claim. You understand what I'm saying? If you if you're in your fifties and your sixties and you posting up in your hood, standing in front of somebody else's house that nobody don't want you in front of their house, you a damn fool. You don't respect your hood. What's up? What's up? What's up? Let's go. 
<laughs> What's up, man? Ramon, li listen to me, man. People need to start understanding. And I don't want nobody to take this the wrong way, Melly Mel. Everything that come out of my mouth comes from my heart. And when I put it out on YouTube, I'm only directing it at one particular set of people. That's my people. I'm not a racist. I'm just a black man. Baby Crazo say that real, fam. Thank you, Crazo. That's fam, too. Listen, listen to me, man. I just don't have time no more to want to hurt somebody that look like me. And the best book I ever read in my life is George Jackson, man. Solid Dead Brothers of Malcolm X, man. You understand what I'm saying? Them the two best books I've read in my life, man. All the mother literatures I read, no. I grabbed, I, I got something from them. George Jackson and Malcolm X opened my eyes, man. Say, ain't nothing wrong with being a crip, but you're black first. If you can represent blackness good, you can sure represent crip good. And that's what I'm doing. That is, you know, variety is the spice of life, and people ain't, ain't getting it. You got these dudes out here, man. Rather be with their homies. You know why crip funerals be so packed? Because they just want to go see who they ain't seen. Go eat some food, get drunk, smoke somebody weed. You got more past. people that come see you on your back than saw you when you were standing on your feet. Hey, say it again. I told this on TikTok. You probably seen it one time. I said, my funeral don't let the preacher tell you you can talk for two minutes. This is my last party. I paid for it. Talk as long as you want. But send everybody out the door. You know I didn't fuck with. Fake friends show up to funeral, some of them. 45% of the people at the funeral do not love you. They did not respect you. They really come to see if you really did. I hate to say that. I hate to say it. See, if I see somebody dead, I only know the cause of the death. I already know he did. Right? We put game bangers put more energy in hood day. Being a party crip. Electing their kids. Just keep it in 100. They put a lot of energy in that instead of putting energy in the right things, right? Uh, I'm just trying to be a positive individual. I'm gonna get back on pretty boy. I'm feeling cool too, Melly. Me, I'm drunk me a couple of beers. I'm asking you to buy me a beer when you get off. Man, I this just, you know, I just want to, I just want to thank the Conrad, you know, and thank you as well for being able to navigate the ups and downs of life and, and your contributions, bam, to to the channel and to the uh, overall population when we addressing all these people from various different sides of, of the turf and also across the country. I think everybody respect yeah. that deep perspective because you give a you give an energy and you're a magnetic individual when you're speaking and it just comes across like really like something everybody could just hold on to and really like take it and, and apply it in their life. You really, you drop some good jewels in there, Bam, and, and I appreciate you coming to the channel and doing that. You know, ever since we, we connected, you know, from the yeah. time over there for seven, what was that, 76 and Uber? <laughs> We've been all, brother. Man. And watch this. Watch, watch this, Melly Mel. This is what the haters don't like. They say shit with Melly Mel and Bam get together with Melly Mel, break the best demo. Well, y'all just don't know. If me and Melly Mel get a podcast, y'all finna, hey, y'all finna stop subscribing to them suckers, man. Right? Y'all finna jump on the board on this reel. Just imagine the hood and the scholar. That's to be a name of the podcast. The hood, the scholar. You the scholar of the hood. Hey! Hey, Melly Mel, you bring the best out of me because I know you love me. I, I, I want to touch on this too a little bit, Bam. I saw the guy, Adam 22, you know, he sex play all those guys over there. He does it in a, in a slick kind of subtle way, but sometimes it's overtly. Right. And he sex yeah. played the dude and the dude got really, he, he came out and said something, but my problem with it. Okay. You said what you said, but you still there. You understand? They go on Adam 22 and he sex play them guys and they still there. Obviously, they do need that hey. check. They say they don't need it, but I think they do need it because they still there. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Don't hang up on the brother on that. Hello? And hey, let me call you back. I'm doing the live right quick. Let me call you back. Hey, excuse me. <clears throat> hey, Melly Mel. 
I did this. This why I don't waste energy on TD Jakes and Puffy Nip situation. Ski Ways and Dot Moves is doing the same thing. Uh huh. Oh, they going to the Disney Quarters over there. Don't jump. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100. You have meltdowns. You have heat flashes, hot flashes on it. Everything over there is dirty. From gossiping to lying. And a lot of women don't lie. I'm just keeping it 100. They All them dudes over there recognize their femininity in them, man. They understand where they go with it. It ain't about what he's still doing there, Melly Mel. Adam, with a sex play, bam. You'd have been putting $50 J-Pay on my books. Simple as that. These dudes, now don't get me wrong. If Adam called in an interview, bam, if he got $1,500, i am going. They can say I what they want. I guarantee you. I didn't see the comment. Let me see if I can find the comment. Uh, Marlena, can you help me? What comment is... is uh, oh, I'm only see. asking questions that you support the unity you want. But come Go on, Melly man. man. What do you want to know? No, nah, he made a comment. He he wants you to ask ask about the com ask Bam about the comment about the OGs and, and I didn't see what his comment was. So, but if you could put it back yeah, in, I, okay, maybe this is it. Is this it? It ain't the OGs, folks. The system dismantles the family structure in games in game terms. They locked up the OGs, took them off off the streets, and the youngsters that took to go for that for what we know. Well, watch this, man. Let me share something. Let me, let me answer that for the best way I know how. The system, this is by design. When they start allowing black women to get the county money, in order for them to get that money, and blacks that was married to women. They were struggling. But the county said, in order for us to give you this money, that man got to get out that house. And when you're missing in action, that's what happened. You wonder. No, don't blame it on OG. The reason I say don't blame it on OG, that's the title earned. That's not given. Everybody ain't OG because he got this. This gray hat, man. Me and Melly Mel make a motherfucker look good in the 60s, man. This is the new 30, baby. This is what I'm telling you about it, man. Listen to me. I just noticed this myself. Thank you for the five dollars. If Bam is, is, is like that, all right, watch this. Yeah, we all dropped the ball. Didn't know one generation. But don't blame it on me for how to raise your child. Don't tell me a single mother can't raise a son. Because I got some homeboys that's me and Melly Mel age that ain't gay. I ain't got nothing against gay community. They ain't gay. They ain't soft. They're responsible. There wasn't no man in the house. Because their mother respected the father might be rested in peace or the father that when he got him another life. She respected her kids enough not to bring a hundred different dudes in the house. Now, how many homeboys you got, Melly Mel, that show age didn't have a daddy at the house? Uh, not, not my, now watch this. Happening younger, but but and this is what they need to catch. Our fathers that was in our house was a lot of our homeboys mentors. They mothers brothers was they mentors. So you want to know who dropped the ball? Don't say OG. Don't say no bangers. Say the uncles. Say the big cousins that didn't want to spend time in their brother's life. See, we all can be mentors who just don't know how to step to the plate to be. Break down now the we term got OG for him, though, man. Break down the OG. What is that? Explain that. The OG, man. The OG ain't because he's in his 60s, 40s, 50s. You can be 20 and be an OG. It's about the example that you present and the example that you lead with. You know what I'm saying? It don't come with age. The only OG crip is one. That's Raymond Watson. I ain't never seen him have his pants hanging off his ass. So if they say that's crippling, it can't be crippling. Why is he the, the only one? Why is right? he the only one? Because he started crippling. 
He started Crip. He started Crip. He started Crip. He started Crip. Feel me? Uh, that's they, me and you dudes, dudes like me and you, Melly Mill, they call us OG because we earned that title. Now you got dudes that don't want to be dudes. They, they be doing this. Excuse me. Uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to be uh uh uh. Damn, man, my big homie. I ain't never asked to be your big homie. Now, if I ain't earned that title, so be it. But don't try to clown on social media because I'm a clown back. Just not on social media because I respect the saints and the crypt, right? But you got dudes. It's a lot of dudes that's calling themselves G's. Let me tell you, man. If we went by game standards of cripping, if you wasn't one of the first crips. The, at the beginning of the generation of Crippin or a baby Crip, you can't be an OG. I'm going to keep it 100. But we're allowing it to go. My homie Junebug and Shane Nip, Cable, they was G's. Thank you, Raymond. My little homies is two, three years. Matter of fact, three generations under me. You understand what I'm saying? So what does that make Craig Munson then, OG? Watch this, J. Ship. I'm going to answer this the best way I know how. I don't know what Chuck Craig Munson is. He ain't a crip. See, I only give Crips and Dot Moves the OG title that earned it. I don't give civilians the title. If you wasn't a crip or blood, you don't get that OG title from me. You don't get that big homie title from me. You ain't no ant, no salty soup malt, a scarlet. Listen to me, Kitty West, Big Island, Ali, them, Pet Bull, Clay Close, Mac Watts, you pretty kidding them? You don't get that, Frank Van, and you don't get that. If you wasn't no Crip. See, I learned from Crips, man. I ain't learned from Craig Munson. Craig Munson was something I didn't want to be. I ain't never want to be buff. I like the way I look. Being buff was some of the scariest dudes and biggest bullies. You understand what I'm saying? I, I got all my muscles up here. So I don't know what Craig Munson is. I can't give him no title. I look at him and just like me. We equal. I'm equal with some of my big homies, though. I tell some of my big homies now, man, I if I call you big homie, you really hey, don't that title. Let, let, let me hit that move again. I think that's how I go. <laughs> Look, man, listen to me. Well, yeah, I be... I mean, I don't want nobody to get offended what I be saying, man. Listen to me. When I was in the penitentiary, man, I used to run across dudes that lived in Compton, what no Compton Crips would think they can ride that bandwagon of Crips and keep the shit off of them. Man, I'm OG Grant. But don't know no Compton on New York. Let me holler at that dude. Football to tell you this. Hey, homie, stop saying you from the Grandies, man. Because there ain't no more of the Grandies that's nutty now. You ain't never been from the Grandies. You know, watch this. I ain't got to say sumo game banging name. You don't know the Swahili name, you ain't from the Grand. It's simple as that. You don't know X Swahili name, you ain't from the game. You don't know more shit. You ain't from the Grandies, man. I hung in there. I was walking, man, you know, listen to me, man. I ain't putting a hundred on it, homie. When it comes to my tripping, it's validated, baby. I ran with Raymond Nim, Big Ali, uh, uh, Mac Thomas. I ran with them brothers. I was one of them dudes they made go home. Go home, huh? They, they knew my name. Raymond Nim knew my name. He was there in the backyard when I got it. But my family nickname is her. Them dudes chastised me when I drove my mama crazy. I ain't a dude that shot I knew Raymond. I knew Raymond. You understand know what I'm saying? I knew Raymond. Crypt to me mean Christ is restoring important people. I'm an important person. I'm the most important person in the room, man. Melly Mel. I don't never want to go to jail. I don't never want to steal another black man like but if you oppose the threat on mine, I would hope to. I got to love me and protect me. But I don't never want to do nothing to another brother. The earth is my turf. I'm from Front Hill County Crip. I'm a non active game man. I'm a real county finest, man. I'm a G, undisputed. I don't wear skinny jeans. I don't wear spack dead drawers. I still wear boxes. You understand know what I'm saying? But li listen to me, man. I love being black. I know what. Crips and the Bloods fucked the community up. Now it's on the Crips and the Bloods that we do. The Slossons didn't do it. The Avenues didn't do it. See, you got, when I said Avenues, I thought about the Craig Munson dude. They want to believe he slapped Raymond. He back his head. 
rim show, right? I'm gonna start my own game. Well, watch this, man. I ain't ashamed to admit it. If that's what happened, I'm glad he did it because I'm glad and proud to be the crip. Because I'm, I'm a different crip today. I don't encourage black violence, Melly Mill. I done saw shit on the streets without no gunplay coming. I ain't talking about encounter. I'm talking about in LA, baby. You understand what I'm saying? I done saw things in LA that didn't have nothing to do with comfort. I don't compromise my crippling, man. I don't compromise my crippling. I got dudes despise me because I call LB my big home. But watch this, dude. I wasn't one of them dudes that lived on level four for eight months and went to a level three because I had a sack. I was the man. I was the man because I put in work. I was the man because I earned my position. So why you call LB? <laughs> Call me, Bam. Explain that. Huh? Why do you call LB your big homie? Explain that for the people that don't know. I know. LB I know. Took something. Audience to know. All right. LB took something, Tom. Every real Compton wanted to get LB. LB knew that. What I respect about LB is he never got aggressive at no Compton in the penitentiary. He let his actions and his conduct let us know that I'm still a power root, although I might represent something else, but I'm a black man. I love that brother on numerous reasons. He taught me some things. I read his transcript. Feel me? I learned it from LB is this. You ain't got to expose secrets. Take them to the grave with somebody give them to you. I put the LB in the category. Not, I put what knowledge and information did he share with you while you were there, Bam? He gave me some literature. That you can talk about. He gave me some books to read. He admired how I conducted myself. See, when I ran across LB in the pen, I had been down like in the third weeks you feel me he uh like he told some of his partners bam did have his own table in the crib square lb was a dude i just he earned that title man on how he watch this man i bust down every day man when i was in prison it might start lb three or four years older than me that dude was down in that square man doing burpees man that man had seven life. That man put in work. That was a real freedom fight in the penalty. Him and Sue Monet, man, listen to me, homie. Dudes like that, I can't do nothing but call my big homie Mike. Because if it wasn't for LB, a lot of power rules couldn't have walked the yard. But and Sue Mon, Marcellus, now, Keely, a lot of kind of crooks couldn't walk the yard. I'm keeping one on it. LB put the P in phone, right? You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it 100. To me, that's Mr. Pablo. Yeah, Putin was with the business. A lot of shit Putin was doing, somebody else was doing. They just knew Putin. His name rang. But LB put the P in front, man. I'm going to give him that, man. That's my big homie, man. Whenever he be in the city, somebody call me. And I say, LB, what he do? I just respect black men, man, that, that, that respect they self, Melly Mill. You understand what I'm saying, homie? I learned one thing from... Sumo. Big act. Don't judge no man based on what he represents. Hey man, the average blood. I ain't taking up the blood so far. It starts with you, Eddie. What are you gonna do about it? It starts with you, bro. It starts with each What's and that? every individual. The life that you have, you fashion it with your own two hands. So it starts Say it with again. you. Don't look for nobody else to start, and then you start it. And everybody else is hey, doing it. Hey, can I elaborate on that, Melly Mill? Sure. I'm going to tell you, what what's his name, Eddie? I'm going to tell yeah. you what we can do, what you can do and what we're going to do about it. Last year, I had a time hall meeting, but nobody there, though. I walked from yard to yard and gate to gate, dropping off flies. So I knew I killed Mac and Melly Mill wasn't going to be there because they had already told me two or three weeks ahead of time. But listen to me. We can just sit on your couch and you play on YouTube and watch the TV and watch the Lakers. You're more interested in that than what's going on in your community. So once we get off that couch, 
and get it and pay that concrete in our community, we all doing something. Because we all guilty of just shouting and not being about it. I'm shouting in the now, but I can't do it by myself. I'm here to uplift my people. Bring peace in the community and love the black kids, man. It takes a village to raise a child, but it takes a village to keep the village intact. Don't run from it. Run to it. Run to it. So tell us. Because I got my thing up in Melly Mill County. Do you want to donate to the Melly Mill or to the Union Walk? This is where we got to start. See, it's a trip, man, on how black folks are set up. I ain't talking about you, brother. Listen to what I'm saying. A black folks always quick to say, well, what are we going to do about it? Yet they run every Laker game. They run every football game. Tribute to them Negroes that don't want to help us. See, them the Negroes that's going to want to leave. Them the Negroes that you contributing, you buy their tennis and you buy their tickets. Them the Negroes that are fr that's afraid of black unity. We the Negroes that want black unity. See, I'm a house. I ain't a house, nigga. I'm a field, nigga, man. I want peace because I play the role. I've been a true trust claimant for about 50 years of my life in a black man's body. Man, I'm a black man in a black man body. Damn here to save my people. I'm like Moses. Just let my people go. You understand what I'm saying, Melly Bill? That's it. That's all. I ain't just to that. Ron Green, nephew, listen. We, about, we got about four more minutes before we even go off. But what I want to do now... Send me a message over the IG at the Hood Postman, and I'll see about get. I'll put you on. Just send me a message over there, uh, and give me your number, and I'll call you, and we'll dialogue on that. But bam, That's we right. come in right now. Um, we have to close. Uh, um, what do you got for the people, man, in, in regards to the positive words that you that sometimes that often flows from your voice and from the deep down in your soul that. That they happen to touch people's lives, their ears, their hearts. Give us some something positive, Bam. I want you to know, man, living a life like me ain't nothing guaranteed. God bless me for living two lives in one life. There it is, there, right. man. I appreciate you, man. This is a blessing, me being here. I'm so grateful to have y'all here. Listen, it's on us. Ain't no white man come in on no cake. I'm in script tonight if you come in my community. We got to save our community. We need to police our own community. When I say police, I ain't talking about code. We got to say enough is enough. And the only option is peace. On that note, hey man, support the unity wall. Tap into my show. OG Bam, the OG suspected. OG Bam, time to front that of you. Man. Shout One love. Y'all hit me? One love. Mel me up, buy me a drink, man. I, I got appreciate you. it, homie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, right. drunk. I'm finna flex some little chest and talk shit. I'm finna go. I'll tell you that on the phone. I'm, okay. waiting, I'm waiting on somebody to show up. Okay. All right. All right. Shout out to the BAM. Shout out to the BAM. We appreciate you. Listen, guys, uh, BAM is always just coming in with this energy, this magnetic uh, personality. And he just dropped them jewels, man. We gotta say, it. but again, Ron, hit me in um hit me on the IG. Okay, got you. And then we yeah, we 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 we'll tap in, you know, we're we're lining up, bro. I don't have no problem with bringing anybody in. I appreciate you. I want to say, take this moment, I'll probably come back tomorrow and give my homeboy Bill Gary uh uh happy heavenly birthday today. But I, I gotta tell y'all a story, bro, because he was he was a he was a he was a little guy. But he would fight the biggest guys. And, and, uh, and rest in peace, little Gary. Today is his birthday. I'm just thinking about him, guys. And, and hopefully I'll be able to get back on tomorrow. And I'll tell you a story about little Gary from Santana, the giant conqueror. <laughs> With that being said, I am Professor Melly Mill, the hood post man. We got Marlena Williams, J. Shell. We got countless other people, Devon Cutmore. Uh, I didn't get Mike Marks today. But anyway, guys, you know what it is. Uh, again, once we'll be back, as soon as we up and run it again, we're going to make it happen, guys. I appreciate you. One love. Lock the door. Proof of grind all the time, baby. Yeah. yeah. Cali Vines, baby. Proof of grind all the time. Music money. Got a dollar sign. Hub City. I'm a 
street nigga, streets fuck with me I'ma keep pushing products to the fans, get me It's Guap off top, Diamond Cordier That nigga wall won't give a pro bitch the time of day They see me climbing, they see me, they see me shining they see me. That's hard work, hard work, proof of grinding New money got me tipping in that 550 I leave bad man and I'm so pretty I got that tech that's my hater sprayer Go big, grind now, nigga, play later What can I say? I'm addicted to this paper stocking And I don't talk about it I just make it happen Marlena Williams, Dr. Doer Cause we are gone